see. Looking at the fully restored decor of the Fort Gary Hotel, Frank Albo can't believe it was ever in economic trouble. Can you see that? Yeah. After the Second World War, bills were too high and revenue was too low for a hotel that some said was too fancy at the time. But Albo says that's not the case anymore. Here, you see an example of a building that has literally emerged from the ashes, like a, a phoenix, and on many different ways, not only from the business strategy, but from the architectural appreciation. It is, uh, it has grown to become an iconic Winnipeg building. Winnipeg's only chateau-style hotel was built across from the Union Rail Station in 1913. The hotel was designed to show visitors Winnipeg was an elite Canadian city in terms of economics and civic beauty. Like the city, the hotel has changed a lot in the past century. Candles have been replaced with light bulbs on the chandeliers. Elaborate molding has been refurbished. But Albo says the Fort Gary's character remains the same. If you look closely at all those details, those represent different national styles and ideologies, and all of them are, are incorporated very seamlessly and beautifully in this one building. But in the aftermath of the Second World War, people's finances were tight and tastes were moving to a more modern style. The Fort Gary felt dated. This room, which held the hotel's grand opening, was often left vacant and tables were no longer being set for afternoon tea. It, it kind of went downhill in the 1950s when all of the hotels on Main Street started to open and people couldn't rationalize spending as much on staying in a hotel when they were traveling across Canada. The seventh floor, which now houses the Crystal Ballroom, was turned into a casino in the 1980s. The owners were trying everything to keep up with the competition. But when new ownership took over 10 years ago, Weeb says they dedicated themselves to restoring the several halls of the building to its former beauty. It's had kind of this scarred past, but it can still be beautiful. In the 19, 1913, when the hotel opened, it was this like oasis of grandeur for people traveling across to the west, across Canada. Cindy Tugwell loves the wood paneling throughout the hotel, but especially in the concert room. She hopes other people in the city will appreciate it at doors open an event giving a behind-the-scenes look at the hotel. The event happens on May 25th and May 26th. It's really not just about preserving a heritage building. It's about how this building fits in with the rest of the city, downtown revitalization and civic pride. And, and so that becomes the backstory, not just the preservation of the actual bricks and mortar. The history of the Fort Gary Hotel is fascinating, but it's a little bit spooky too. Some people have said that while staying in room 202, they've seen a ghost at the foot of their bed, and this woman actually crawls into bed with them sometimes. It's all according to a legend that says a woman was staying at the hotel for her honeymoon when she started feeling a bit of a headache, so she sent out her new husband to pick up some headache medicine for her, and while he was out, he was actually hit by a car and killed. And when the woman learned of this, she was so overwhelmed with grief that she actually hung herself in the room and now lingers in the hotel room ever since. For Go Winnipeg, I'm Ryan Kessler.